Oh my goodness, it's snowmageddon here. I just don't know how I'm going to carry on gardening in these conditions. <laughs> oh dear. To be honest, I think I'll probably manage to carry on with my garden for the rest of the season. But just today I might not be putting any plants outside. So what I thought I'd do, it is, believe it or not, on the meteorological... Can you hear the girls? They know I'm out here, they want their worms, the mealworms. On the meteorological calendar, it's spring. Which is why I think we've probably had snow, just to put us in our place. But I thought what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you the garden at the beginning of the season. Because we haven't looked at it since January and it's actually come on a bit since then. But there's a couple of projects I want to show you that I've got in the making. Including the you know what at the other end of the plot. So I'm going to start at the top end today. Work our way down. It's going to be quite quick. There's not a lot going on. But, um, but yeah, I'll show you what we've been getting on with. That should be a water butt under there, shouldn't it? Uh. What are you doing there? You go in there. To show you, you will realise the reasons the chickens are making all those noises is they're actually coming from in there and not in here because for the last couple of months we um, we've had them out of here and in the polytunnel partly because of the avian flu lockdown, but also it's been so blooming cold and muddy. So this is going to be something. I really want to get on with before they move back in. And when I say get on with, I want to um, give their coop a really good clean out for, they haven't got red spider mite, but I want to give it a really good disinfect and everything before they move back in. And I eventually want to get a little window box on there. I said I was going to do it last week, last week, last year. <laughs> time flies and I still haven't done it so so yeah I think um in a week or two they'll probably be moved back in here and it'd be oh it would just be lovely for them to be back outside your guess is as good as mine as to whether this will survive it's I was going to say it's looked worse than this this is the banana palm it's looked as bad as this before we never wrap it saying that we wrapped it the first year it was fine we didn't wrap it last year it was fine and I think all these leaves here are doing such a good job of protecting the plant itself that we're just going to let it get on with itself and I just want a record of this top plot for my own benefit because it looks shocking we have got a couple of leaks in here and oh actually we've got one there oh can you see it oh it's there somewhere um, that actually looks like, look, let's have a little look. Looks like it might actually be a leak, like a worthy leak to pull up. But um, yeah, but yeah, this bit is shocking. So I want to prove to myself by, oh, I don't know, even the middle of May, that we can really make something of this bit. I've got no idea yet what we're going to put in what plot. Um, I haven't done any plan this year. I'm later than ever doing my planning, but uh, yeah. Let's just hope it's going to be an improvement. Anyway, it'd be awful if it got worse. <laughs> right, let's go in and see those ladies. They do always make me smile, you know. The usual, oh, there's my shadow. Here we go, they're coming to the door. If I open up. They're well locked in there. Oh, that metal's hot, you know. Oh, well, that's a, not a good use for your labels. Oh, this one's not going to come out good use for your labels if it worked wouldn't it you know what this always happens when you pick the camera up <laughs> you realize you can't do things with one hand and let's see the girls there they go hello ladies hello and I can tell you one of them there we go she is going to run up this ramp here there we go <laughs> go 
as she knows fine well. Let me just check the door shut behind me. She knows fine well. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. That she is going to be first to get the mealworm. So, you know, they are quite bright, aren't they? For little dinosaurs. There we go. So she gets her... Um, reward if you like by running up first but it's so funny how they have the same routines every time this is one of the projects that we're going to have to get done in the next month or two because it is just a dust bath I mean they've had a great time in here they're still laying they've laid all through the winter but yeah we're gonna to have to sort them out so I'm gonna get them some kale in a minute and throw that in and uh, come and give them a bit of a cuddle later on before I go what are you thinking, Rocky? Are you impressed? I don't think he is. He always just wants to go home. Um, this bed here, now I'm hoping you can see it because the sun's just come out again. Let me move around. Um, this bed here is one that I did a lovely little time lapse, so I thought, of me actually clearing it away. And uh, then I realised <laughs> during the time lapse, the camera had sort of twizzled around on the tripod. So I just got a picture of uh, the arch. But yeah, this has been cleared away. This had all our brassicas in this year and it had beans along here. We're still going to have the beans along the edge, but um, obviously that won't be brassicas this year. But what I am going to do, and this is going to be on both sides. Look, I was going to avoid showing you this side, but... <laughs> Rocky looks ashamed. This was all our peas and beans and yeah, hasn't been cleared away yet. It's middle of March. There's plenty of time, Jane, there's plenty of time. But yeah, if you, um, we've got the strawberries there, I believe it or not, under the snow. This bit here, alongside the strawberries and alongside that side is where I'm going to put loads of the onions um, and that's because I think we might have had a bit of white rot last year and I really you know how desperate I am to get a really good onion crop this year so yeah hopefully that will happen strawberries are coming up nicely um, nice new straws coming up through the old mess basically You can see I've been quite busy making a little no-dig bed. So you think that was all grass. That is now a no-dig bed. So basically I put down a layer of cardboard, watered it, and I put, sorry about my shadow, I put three bags of compost on top. And then on the other side, I did exactly the same because this is one of the projects that I'm going to be really excited about doing this year and I can't tell you and I'm desperate to tell you so have a little guess in the comments below what you think might be going on um, with these two new beds but it's something yeah 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 really excited about sharing with you right on to this bit here asparagus hmm nothing yet obviously apart from snow there, you know what there's just nothing to show you if i <laughs> let's just have a little look around there's a bed with snow on there's a bed with snow on oh the garlic bed look at the garlic bed yeah let's have a look here this looks quite nice actually can't remember the varieties oh oh there's a label but it might be a label from last year let's have a look i will have it written down somewhere maybe this says yeah it says the 17th of the 11th no it says the 22nd of the 11th 21 okay we'll put that away but yeah look the garlic is actually coming really really well and i have got a little patch at the end here that didn't get planted up and i'm going to try and put some very last minute uh spring planting garlic in there just to fill that up and just you know you can never have too much garlic can you and then in the other side i'm ever so sorry this is wibbly wobbly this i think we've got onions in here again mike's done this onions shallots grass yeah nothing else going on in there though but look i mean <laughs> It's quite difficult to do a plot tour when there's nothing growing. Uh, the blackberry is going to be gorgeous this year. That's actually going all the way over the arch now. 
and then on the other side the Tabery will be coming up that side so yeah the fruit cage it is difficult to believe and if this was my first year I'd be really really disheartened by now because I'd be thinking these boring blueberries they just will not come oh mind you look but again I've got a little um, experiment I am going to be doing with them in the next week or two when the weather starts to warm up but they are starting to come but yeah I think it might be something on the roots I've had these now for what four years and they've given me about three blueberries so not too impressed but yeah so I'm going to be doing something to the roots on them to see if that will help but the rest of this has just basically been used as um, scratching ground for the chickens because I feel sorry for them in the polytunnel all day long so they do come out here and have a good scratch but actually oh look at this though I don't know if this is the red currant or the black currant but look at all the new growth coming on here isn't that beautiful oh this is the red currant you know because I remember <laughs> I remember kneeling down here and filming trying to pick the right red currants last year whilst actually holding the camera so this is red currant so if we have a crop as good as last year if I can find a bit of the footage I'll put it in but that would be lovely and over here similarly the black currant yeah still got pots of them in the freezer right so that's the top half done and you've seen the <laughs> the lack of things going on in these beds here but if you come down here I'll show you in the greenhouse and then I'll show you what I'm really excited about on the other side now before we go in can I just say <laughs> forgive me because I think you'll remember not too long ago I put a video up about sorting out this greenhouse and it all went back really nicely but as you can oh my goodness there have you as you can probably tell by um the huge pile of chipboard that's been out in the rain and snow which isn't good on this side things have been happening yeah let me just show you he's in okay well you know what on the plus side if i hadn't cleared this out I wouldn't have been able to bring in all these things. <laughs> now, a lot of them are to do with the shed. Shh, I'm not going to show you that yet. Um, but yeah, I have. I was given a, um, a bag of onions. What are they? Here we go. I was given these by our allotment neighbour. He didn't want them. He had enough. So they've gone in a tray of soil only a couple of days ago, actually. And they are starting to, are they? yeah they are starting to come a little bit we were also given a tray of cabbages by a neighbor which um yeah need to go in the ground he was saying we could put them in the polytunnel you've seen the polytunnel so um yeah they wouldn't last longer than that so they are in here on hold at the moment because it it really is lovely and warm at the moment but yeah let me show you this this is to go in the shed and i picked it up the other day on facebook marketplace Oh my goodness me, that was a palaver. Let's just say what should have been a 20 minute journey there and back turned into a four hour ordeal. <laughs> so I hope it's gonna be worth it because that is what we've been working on. And let me just show you how far we've got. I mean, I'm hoping I haven't built this up too much because it's not finished, but we're still really excited about it. But yeah, do you wanna see the shed so far? I wanna show you. You wanna see it, Rocky? Rocky doesn't. We've actually got one of our windows in. So if you remember, the last time you might have seen anything of the shed build was us putting in that great big window find over there. I mean, I can't get in it. There's all these struts in the way. But then last weekend, we managed to get this window in here. And the window that I've just shown you, sorry, I'm just tripping, tripping over Rocky. Um, is going to go there it's just I think it's the perfect size to go there but of course what that means is that strut's got to go and that strut's got to go and we've got to try and get those struts out without the whole thing falling down so Mike's quite keen to put it somewhere else but we'll have to discuss that <laughs> as we come to do it but yeah we're getting there I want to talk about struts look 
it's it's done oh can you see it's done all the way to over there now that corner this is what I'm excited about I can see it, the inside all done in my head that corner there we get the sun of an evening coming this way which is a shame because before now that's just been a solid wall so that wall there is going to have the nice sort of sunburst window in so when I'm sitting there of an evening we won't just get the light in but we should just get the light in through the beautiful leaded glass windows so yeah what do you think what do you think of it so far <laughs> I dread to think what you might be shouting at the camera at this point the only issue we've got at the moment is um, Mike is working during the week so the only time we actually get to work on the shed together is the weekends and whereas I'm a dab hand at doing the smaller woodworking jobs and I'll be able to do the cladding and the painting all that sort of thing when it comes to things like putting struts in he's done it before say so that's Rocky Rocky just wants to go home don't you Rocky we'll go in a minute um so yeah so and as it happens this weekend we're only going to have one day because you know how busy weekends can be so slow and steady wins the race but yeah in my head remember that picture in my head so that's it March, middle of March, meteorological spring. The garden looks as it does. I can't help that. It's only going to get better. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the tour and I hope it's made you feel a little bit better about your garden, which is probably a darn side better than mine at the moment. Um, links to Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. Please come along and have a look at the Patreon page if you haven't already. I'm putting loads of extra stuff on there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon with an update. <laughs>